what does social media have in common with supply chain management? Consider the case of the launch of new products like the iPhone X in 2017. When Apple was forced to delay the launch of this new product due to assembly problems, it was a, there was a very vivid outcry on Twitter. Social media users did not really appreciate the situation and at times were very explicit in stating their negative opinion. Of course, no company likes bad news on social media, but worse yet, in the case of Apple, there has been a drop in stock market price following the delay announcement. It seems these losses were even accentuated by the outcry on social media. In our recently published study, we wanted to know, is this just one-time effect pertaining to very large and popular firms such as Apple, or do Twitter users more generally react to adverse supply chain events? That is, does social media elevate the supply chain importance? If we were to find a systematic public reaction, we knew this would add to further arguments for proactive supply chain risk management approaches. Together with Chris Smith from the ETH in Zurich, George Boy from the Indiana University and Zeb Hees from the North Carolina State University, we investigated supply chain glitches, that is, any unforeseen adverse event that disrupts the production or the flow of goods, like the Apple example before. After creating a list with over 200 supply chain glitch announcements between 2013 and 2017, we analyzed whether the, those were followed by abnormal Twitter reactions. What we found was quite interesting. Not only are there more tweets related to firms facing a supply chain glitch, but their sentiment becomes even more negative. No, one might ask, so what? There are more tweets and they are more negative. Why should firms care? This question motivated us to go on and so we also examined the link between social media reactions to a supply chain glitch and stock market reactions. Based on historical stock market data, we demonstrate that an increase in the number of tweets just after a public announcement of a glitch and a shift towards more negative sentiment are associated with more negative stock market reactions. In other words, when the public reacts stronger on Twitter, we find more negative stock market reactions. Still, though, we weren't quite satisfied with the answer. Could it simply be that stock market and Twitter users react simultaneously stronger if events were more impactful? To examine this concern, we use intraday data by exploring whether Twitter reactions before the stock market opens are associated with stronger stock market reactions after the stock market opens. Vice versa, we check whether a stronger reaction during the trading day leads also to stronger reaction on Twitter after trading hours. We find that stronger social media reactions to supply chain glitches tend to be followed by strong stock market reactions, but not vice versa. This suggests that we are not just capturing simultaneous effects here, but rather social media reactions do play a role when it comes to stock market reactions. Translating our findings to industry practice, this implies that social media may serve to broaden the range of people reacting to supply chain glitches. Through this new technology, the broader public becomes aware and able to raise their opinions with the potential of damaging a firm's reputation and value. Clearly, this requires even more resources for proactive supply chain risk management. Of course, we were also intrigued by the question whether there's anything that firms can do about this effect using Twitter themselves. So we further examined how fi firms react on social media. For instance, by tweeting more with their own firm account. We find that higher Twitter volume from the firm account can be used to pot partially counteract the negative effects of the Twitter reactions on, social, on supply chain glitches. This requires firms to be internally aligned 
and to or to have at least some internal communication channels so that the public rea relations department is informed on time about supply chain disruptions. To summarize, we find that social media does evaluate the supply chain importance, therefore firms have even more reason for proactive supply chain risk management and need to be internally aligned to react quickly.